I'd like to thank Jordan from the YouTube channel Restorative Gardening with Mind and Soul for the idea of making these stands. This is brilliant because it's so easy. You don't need to have special equipment. You can do this in one afternoon. So thanks, Jordan. I'll put his information in the description below. I've built three of these already. And now I know how to work smart. <laughs> We're going to start with the top piece. Now basically this is 50 inches across and I want to put two hooks in it. And so I did, I figured, okay, what's 50 divided by three? More or less 16, right? Because 16 times three is 48. So from either side, I'm measuring approximately 16 inches because I want the hooks to be kind of like this, you know, in thirds. So 16 inches from each end, like I said, very approximately. I'm just marking out where I want to drill my hole. And I'm going to drill a little hole right in the middle of the top here at those 16 inch marks. All right, so I've got those drilled trying to be careful of my microphone here. I don't want to cut a hole through that. And I'm going to put my hooks in. All right. That's one. That's two. That's step one. Now step two is to prepare the actual light for hanging. I've got here uh, some of that nylon rope that I measured out to three and a half feet. Because my grow light stand is three feet tall, I want to be able to move it up and down. So I've got it at three and a half feet right now because I am going to be tying knots in it and I don't want to fall short. So I have two pieces pre-cut. And with your grow lights, or your shop lights, I'll call them, you'll probably get a little package of hardware like this. And part of that package is something that looks like this. And that's basically what you're going to clip onto your shop light so you can attach it onto the top piece. But before we attach it, that's where these come in handy, these little pieces of nylon rope. I'm going to twist them a little bit and stick them through the hole in that piece of hardware. And if you're using nylon like I am, be really careful because it frays very easily. And you have to tie a knot three times, okay? So don't be stingy on the, uh, on the knot. Because the first one I did, I tied it twice. You know, I tied the knot once twice and it just unraveled immediately so I'm tying it three times now and I guess as I go along I'll have to see if it needs a fourth knot but for now three seems to be okay and I'm going to tighten that knot and I'm going to do the same thing with the other little piece of hardware If your, if your shop lights come with chains, I think that would be a lot easier than tying knots and all that stuff. But, you know, I, I just couldn't afford chain. Couldn't afford it. $1.81 a foot and I need 71 feet. So you guys can do the math, but that's nearly 150 bucks, including tax probably. This is supposed to be a frugal project. <laughs> and even under 200 for the total is, you know, pushing the boundaries of frugal to me, but it'll be worth it because I can't see myself ever having to replace these stands ever. The lights maybe, but not the stands. They're gonna last a lifetime. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna just kind of measure out to make sure that I've got a little bit of space on either side of the top with my light. And around where the hook is, that's where I'm gonna snap on that piece of hardware. 
tighten that knot again. Same thing for the other side. Just approximately where the hook is because you can always move these. And I'm going to tighten the knot. All right, so I'm going to put that aside for now. And we're going to assemble the legs onto the top. So we want to attach the brace onto the leg first. What we're going to do is basically this, okay? So I am going to just measure to make sure that the brace is approximately right sort of, you know, in the middle here. I'm totally eyeballing this project, my friends. I would suggest that you would probably pre-drill some holes before you put your screws in there, but I'm, like I said, I'm doing this quick and dirty, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure that the braces go in flush with the bottom of the leg, all right? that's our first leg. See how it stands up on its own? This is brilliant. Thank you so much, Jordan. So this is going to be one side. And I'm going to grab the other side and do it. Just make sure you, you put it on the right way. You've got one going this way. You need to make sure you've got one going this way, right? Let's work smart. <laughs> Again, make sure it's flush with the bottom so that it stands straight. And away we go. got two sides. Now we just have to assemble the top. Now when you're putting the top onto the legs, make sure the hooks are on the bottom. Don't forget that. And I'm basically using one of my other grow lights that I made to sort of help me hold things up because this is a one woman job here. So I've got to make sure I use all of the surfaces I can to help me. <laughs> All right, I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting screws into these. And like I said, if you want to, you can put pre-drill some holes to make sure your wood doesn't split, but I'm hoping it won't. Make sure it's flush here and make sure this is on the top, not here. You want it to have a good support. first one's on. Now I'm going to turn this around and put the second one on. I have to move the microphone now. When you're putting the legs on, make sure the brace is on the outside, okay? Because that's basically what's holding it all up. Make sure it's flush. And your test is basically, can it stand up on its own right now? 
Yes, it can. So I have it in the right spot. No ma major measuring required, which I really like because I like to get things done. I'm a busy gal. <laughs> make sure that's flush because I felt it move a little. Let me pull that out. All right. So there you go. The grow light is done. Okay. Now we're going to assemble the light underneath. So now I'll show you how I hang the lights. I've basically put loops in the other ends of the nylon rope and they just hang from the hooks. It's as easy as that. I'm hanging them quite low right now because I don't know exactly what height I'm gonna need them. It depends. I'm gonna be putting seed trays under and maybe pots and maybe other size plants and things like that. So whatever height I need when I'm ready, I just have to raise and that's it. I put another knot in and then I'll hang it from the hook. These are just, I'm so excited about these. So now I'm going to put the lights on all of my other stands, get them in place, and then connect them all together. So this is my first light here. I've connected it to an actual wire that has a plug on it and it has an on off switch. And all the other ones are interconnected and I'll show you that now. I just wanted to show you how I'm connecting them all together. As you can see at the end of each light, there are there is an outlet. So I've plugged it in with one of these wires that the connectors. So this light will connect to this light. And over on that end, that light will connect to that light. And over on this end, this light will connect to this light. And so on and so on and so on. <laughs> so they're all connected. Let me just go to the end here and I'll show you something here. Wherever you have the end of a light here that you're not putting a connector in, the package came with these nice little plastic covers that you just snap right on like this. Because I have four foot long lights, the company that manufactures these has recommended that you only connect eight of these lights together, no more than eight. So I'm going to have to shuffle around the house. I do have another extension cord, but if not, just keep that in mind. If they're four feet long and you have 12 lights, you can only connect eight together at the same time. So you might have to get two extension cords if you don't have an outlet close by.